Fiberglass is on. I took a piece of 36 grit. Just rubbed off the heads of the fiberglass. That's it. That's all I want to do. I'm going to fill this now from here to there. I will know when I sand through the body fill, when I hit fiberglass, that I'm getting close to metal. When I know when I hit the fiberglass, I know after that I've got metal. That's pretty obvious. So when I sand this quarter panel out, I will not stop until I hit metal. But once I hit metal, I will stop. You cannot go any further than metal. Sand your body fill. When you hit fiberglass, you know you're getting to the metal. Slow down a little bit. When you hit metal, you've got to stop. That's the end. It's better to have a, a whole playing field than a bunch of spots everywhere. It's like, it, I can't come in here and fill this, fill that line, fill this line, and fill that. It will not look good. It's like doing drywall. You have two pieces of gyp rock, you do a hard coat, you do a soft coat, you do another one, another one, another one. You spread it out each time so it looks better, so it, you can't see that seam. If you do not fill it out right, you see that seam. That's why, because they did not put enough on it. That's why when people do show cars, they fill the whole car. Nothing's ever perfectly straight. It should be round, or it should have a round shape to it. And I will put fill on the places on the quarter panel which need it first. That's how it rolls. You put it on there first, and then coat the whole quarter panel. That would only make sense, would it not? And I will not sand the body fill in between. I might give it this, but I am not sanding it. Quarter panels all filled out, just like I said I was going to do, from there to there. And that is because I already know that that has to be done to make that quarter panel look perfect. I know that. So that's why I did that. So if you think that you only have to fill this, and then fill this, and then fill this, I'm past that. I've already got that figured out. I already know that I've got to sand the whole quarter panel. I haven't sanded it. All I did is bake a cake on the side of it. When I hit metal, I have to stop. Um, I'm going to start with the top half. I'm going to take a piece of tape. I'm going to run along this line. I'm going to use, I'll show you the tool I'm going to use. Is it on the other side? No, it's not. This is the tool I'm going to use. 36 grit, 36. I do 36 on body fill, I use 36 and then 8 or 80. 36 grit, then 80. On some of the pads it says it's 40 grit, so 40 grit, then 80 grit, and then I prime. I will not block this body fill. Not a chance. Used to, but not no more. Um, I'll come in here, I will crisscross this just like I would if I was using a block, but I'm going to use a power tool. I will start here. I will take it down to where it's supposed to be. And how will I know that? Because I'll start to hit body metal. I'll know. Fiberglass or metal, one or the other, I'll know. And all I'm trying to do is make one surface, one straight surface. So in that car, look, when I prime it, it, it blocks it really nice. If I have body fill, metal, body fill, metal, body fill, it, you're not, you're wasting your time. Fill the whole panel, get it over with, and be done with it. That, see, I'm saving time because I realized that. Took my level, I put it on there, it's pretty straight, I've got enough on everywhere. I might have to coat it again for sure, just because of pinholes and that sort of stuff. Um, that's the way you do it. Like, I didn't sand in between any of the body fills. I didn't sand the fiberglass. I'm going to sand it now. And it didn't take me that long to put that on there. 
Because I'm bad at chat. Quarter panels all sanded. I did it all with the electric or the air tool, electric tool. You'll see I switched one there. I used this one. This is a big eight-incher, and then I use uh, a quarter cable, a six-incher for inside this part where I couldn't get that in there. From the here on in, I've been sanding it by hand, just rubbing it out with that 3640 grit, trying to get that feeling good. It feels good, but I'm trying to just take the scratches. Um, I did put a little bit on this seam here, a little more fill, and I sanded it off by hand. And I used a piece of ABS pipe and a piece of sandpaper to wrap around it. And I just went in there like that. Used the tape from there to there, made it straight. I did take the board file and put it on this line here, straighten this line, and that's it. So. From here on in, it'll be hand sanded with the 40 grit, and then sand it off with an 80 grit, and then I'm gonna prime it. I filled the whole thing. You can see where the metal's at. Metal's here, metal's there, metal's there. I've got, right here I've got metal. Right, right here I've got metal. I've got metal here, I've got metal here. So this is so minute and so thin that, yeah, I got metal right here, you know, and the fiberglass right there. So I know that it's where it's supposed to be. I'm down as far as I can go. And I go down the line of that quarter pound, she looks, you know, I like it. I love it. I'll put some primer on that. I will guide coat that. And then I will, then I will board file it. That's when I board file. I board file primer. And when I board file the primer, I'll probably use a hundred or 120 or whatever, even lower maybe. The sharper the paper, the straighter the product. Smooth paper is for painting. That coarse grit is for straightening. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put probably four coats of primer on that. All the way, I filled the whole thing. It's gonna look awesome. It's what's gotta be done to make it look right. When I put the door on, I will make sure when I put the door on, I will still got filling to do here because I got to put that door on. I want to be able to block that door to that corner panel. And when I put the door on, I will make sure when I put fill on, I put it on the corner panel, not the edge of the door. On the edge of the door, it make it look too thick. So you just pull it a little bit, then you put the fill on the corner panel. That's for making nice straight panels and all the lines work perfect. That's how they do it. There's lead in the back here. Fine. I'm telling you, this, when this thing was painted new, she probably didn't look like the best, you know? Like, wow, that lead's built up there quite high. It looks, we'd have it like that. I'd spread it out a lot further and have it down more. It's kind of boom. It's looking good. I'll have to finish the other side. Have it all done this week. The primer on her. It's Friday. Quarter panels are done. Prepare them. 
hitting metal everywhere. So I know that it's thin because I showed you with the level. Got the other side done. All the doors got sanded in. My son helped me. Did a good job. That's it. I'm leaving. Me and Sexy are going out. We're on Valentine's Day. I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm a lucky man. Happy Valentine's Day, Sexy. I love you. Happy Friday!